Hey everyone, welcome back to T's Thrifting Finds. I'm T, or my actual name is Taryn. Um, if you're a new subscriber or you just stumbled upon my channel, I share with you my thrift hauls, my garage sale adventures, my finds, <laughs> my finds from garage sales, estate sales, yard sales, thrift stores, things that people give me to consign, um, everything and anything, I will sell it all, um, as long as it's legal and it's not alive. Anyway, um, this week I have some purses, some clothes, some really cool vintage things. I have a couple toys, a bunch of, a, bu a, a nice little mixture. Um, so stay tuned, let's get started. Okay, so my first item I'm kind of excited about. Um, this I actually got from an antique mall, which normally I don't, I go there to educate myself, to buy for myself, and buy gifts for others, and, and things that I like. Sometimes it's kind of nice to just look around. And I came upon this Eldrith Pottery Santa Claus. And you can see it's signed here from 1999. And he isn't really common. So I'm going to shoot for around $30 for him. There isn't another one listed on eBay like that that I saw. I, I could have missed it. Um, oh, and I forgot to tell you the total was $67 for everything, not for this, <laughs> for everything. But yeah, I should be able to sell it for around 30. I have my box on the floor, but I put it too far away. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, so I have that. And I have these, I found these in a thrift store and they didn't have a whole set, but they're opalescent glass plates. This one, can you see the pattern? That one. And this one is a, it's a scap, scalloped, I was gonna say scalpeled, that's not right. It's a scalloped uh, saucer. And the pattern is American Sweetheart. And these, I have two of these, which are also American Sweetheart. And there's an up close of the pattern. And I think they're, I think they're so dainty and pretty. And I wish I had been alive to experience dainty fanciness like this. But then I think of, okay, well, when I have a migraine or I'm sick or something, the last thing I want to do is have to put on six layers of different types of clothing and fancy shoes and my hair and my makeup just to go drink tea. So yeah, that wouldn't work out very well. Um, but the larger plates are by Macbeth Mannix. And they should sell for around... Whew, not too much, or maybe 20 if I'm lucky for everything, maybe 25. If I had a whole set, if I had four of the plates, I could probably get 30. And if I had at least the teacup to go with this saucer, I could probably get closer to 20 for it. Um, but just individuals, not worth too much. And I know I keep looking down, it's because I have my notes but I have a full table, so I have nowhere to check off what I've already talked to you about, and I will lose my place. Okay, next up are these nice Tommy Hilfiger high top sneakers. They are a little bit dirty. They do need cleaned up. They are a size eight. <laughs> Oof. 
and those should sell for around 25 and I'll put those on uh, Poshmark, um, eBay, and Mercari. The Santa will be eBay, Mercari, and Etsy, and the place will be eBay, Mercari, and Etsy, and Etsy. <laughs> that too. And then this was, so I'm not a seller of dolls. They're not really an interest of mine, but I came across this Thumbelina in the box. Um, I can tell it's probably been removed based on the tie that's holding her in place, but she's in great condition. No stains, holes, or anything like that. And with it being Christmas time, I should be able to get around 30 for that specific version of Thumbelina. It's 1982, there's a little bit of box damage, um, but 30 is pretty reasonable for that. And these I got at a rummage, I guess it's a rummage sale. It was for a youth group locally. And it is a Fiorelli purse and matching credit card holder. Fiorelli. And I thought this was a really cute purse. It has the metal chain and all your pockets. And it's in fantastic condition and I will be happy to sell it for 40 as a set. Most of the, um, there are a few of just the purses on eBay, um, but none of them also have the little credit card order. So I think 40 is reasonable for the whole set of everything and with that I also grabbed this cute purse it's the fabric pattern and then all of this bead detailing around it and there are no beads missing which I thought was amazing and then it's just a basic snap closure it doesn't have any tag or anything it's probably made in China or India um, I just thought it was really nice and I'm going to try to shoot for around 15 to 20 for that one. And while I was there, I grabbed, I grabbed this cabbie jacket, which is a bolo for many Poshmark sellers. They always, cabbie does really well for them. So this is my first time trying it. It's a bad photo, but I will put, I'll put a better picture up in the, uh, in the video, in this video over here, I'll put a picture of the jacket. So you have an idea of what it actually looks like rather than my crumpled mess that I just showed you. <laughs> and that is a size medium. It's wool. And I'm going to try to get around 30 for it. Um, it's a really nice jacket and oh it's the uh, style is aristocrat it has like elastic sleeves that are a little slouchy and then I got so I saw this box sitting on the shelf and it immediately caught my eye mainly because it didn't look made in China or Taiwan and or Korea and I was like this is a unique box so I got it and look what happens it's a wood jack-in-the-box and he is so fun and you might not be able to see it but in the bottom there you, go. you can sort of see it it is made by front porch toys and it's a wooden jack-in-the-box and from the 1970s which is not what I expected I thought it was one of those hipstery modern um, make-it-yourself type things uh, so I was pretty stoked to find out it was from the 70s and I'm gonna try to get around 25 for it now this was something my husband kind of wants to keep mainly because it has a thumbprint 
for, yeah, like an, an indentation for your cup. But look, when you do that, okay, when you do it with a finger, it looks like the cat is holding your finger. Isn't that cute? It is the cutest cup. And I kind of want to keep it for my tea because it's very satisfied to hold it, satisfying to hold. But at the same point, I don't need it. I've got like 30 mugs that I interchange and that's not including my travel mugs and my thermoses. So I don't need another one. However, I'm not really sure what keywords to use because thumb indent mug doesn't turn up anything like this. So I'm thinking I could probably get around $12 for this. I think it's worth 20, but that doesn't mean that you think it's worth 20. And that's, but it's cute. I, it's so cute. Okay, and I grabbed, I'm kind of on a shoe kick. I still need to list all of the shoes and I have more shoes, like totes of shoes. But I have these Stacy Adams men's ankle boots. Really good shape. <clears throat> they are a size eight. And if my husband doesn't want them, oof, if my husband doesn't want them, then I will be selling them for around $35. Uh, they're in really good shape. I'm just gonna clean them up a little bit and they'll be ready to go. Okay, I have, this was cool. This was in the back of one of the shelves at the thrift store and it's a vintage Rosenthal vase. It does have a bunch of like imperfect smudges and stuff and I should be able to get, um, use Magic Eraser to get some of that stuff off. Um, but this is from the, um, it's mid-century modern. It's from the studio line, Uda, Uda Fail, maybe? <laughs> I should be able to get around 35 for the vase. And as I've mentioned in previous videos, if there's anything you see in one of my haul videos that interests you, you want to buy, and I haven't posted it yet because I am behind. I haven't posted it yet on one of my many platforms. Just shoot me an email and let me know and I can, um, we can do, I can send you a PayPal invoice with the cost and shipping and, and everything. Um, and I usually ship within 24, one to two days. Usually it's in within 24 hours, um, but depending upon the craziness of life, sometimes it, and I end up shipping on the second day. Mm, and this was a cool find too. It's a like, it's, it's hard to tell in the picture and like the lighting, but it's like a deep red burgundy, like a, like a mulberry kind of red. It's very deep burgundy-ish red, purple red. <laughs> It's a Foley Karina purse, and I thought this was cool, the latch. So it swings, and to open it, you just do that. And then this pops up. And it's a really nice purse. And I haven't been able to find the exact same one. Um, I found others that are this style of satchel crossbody bag with different like roping here and the same latch. It also has a little like cell phone pocket back here. And I just, the metal is very nice. It has the name on everything, which is how you can tell it's authentic. Um, and that I should be able to sell for around 50 on a good day. Um, my prices do fluctuate, but those are my starting points and then I work from there. I have this super cute vintage duck soap dish. It's one of those things where it's like, why did I get this? But I really like it. That's who makes it. It looks new. I don't think anyone ever used this duck soap dish. But um, it is from, oh, I jumped around. It 
should sell for around $16. We'll see if I can get that. I have this vintage West Side Daffy Duck. Yeah, Daffy Duck t-shirt. He's at the beach making the drink. And it is dated 1985. So that is pretty cool. I have a decent, I do pretty well on vintage sweatshirts. I haven't really sold many vintage t-shirts, um, let alone cartoon. So we will see how this does. It's from 1985, it's a men's large, and it is super soft. Um, it should sell, I'm hoping, for around $29. Um, I can't really see it selling for much less than 20, to be honest. I think 25 is realistic, but I'm gonna shoot for 30. I grabbed these. Made in Italy, no Lita corduroy pants with a very nice detailing on the sides. This is the back leather. And this is the inside tag. And I would never wear them because I, white, white clothing and I do not get along. Tan clothing and I don't get along. Very light gray clothing and I do not get along. I'm messy and I always end up with stains, whether I'm cooking or eating or cleaning. I always get stuff everywhere. Um, so those are a size, a European size 29, and they should sell for around $20. They're super soft and they're very white. I have, this is my first attempt at straw tote bags, but I saw the flowers and really liked it. I thought it was unique. The ones I always come across are like the tourist bags. So when I saw one that was just flowers, I figured I would give it a try. This one, um, I didn't see any exactly like it online, so I'm basing it my, it based my prices if I can't find the exact thing off the closest thing I can find. And I'll use eBay Solds, replacements.com, uh, worthpoint.com, Etsy to help identify all kinds of different um, tools. Along with, I have several, like for ceramics and pottery and stuff, I have ceramic, I have several, I have several books. Um, with those categories to help me identify different things. The tote, I don't know if I mentioned it, should sell for around 25. I have this, I got this for us. It's a glass American Eagle little container. I am going to keep it and use it for toothpicks in the bathroom as long as it isn't too tall. Um, and that I'm keeping, I think it's probably only worth 15 to $20 if I were selling it. Um, they do have online, I saw huge jars, like five gallon jars that are amber glass with the same eagle on them that sell for like a hundred or more dollars. Um, so keep an eye out if you see anything like that but a big jug jar, because that would be a great find. I have two Avalon shells, this little one. And I thought that's kind of cool. And then I have this much bigger one. And they're really pretty. So I'm thinking I should be able to get 20 to 30 for both of them. Um, I did notice this one has, it looks like it's a chip right here, but I don't, I don't think it is. Um, so, 
The value a lot I, in my research, I realized, is determined by this side. As beautiful as this side is, if this kind of opalescent shiny is on the outside as well, the value increases. Since there are a lot of barnacles, you can kind of see the shimmer behind the barnacles. But if the barnacles were gone and this shimmer was on the outside, this would be a $30 shell. This would be worth more. Also, size is important too. This one, you can't even, you can't see any other than here. Here you can see a little bit of the opalescent, but you can't see any of it on the rest of the shell. I, I think this one's my favorite. I like the holes. And then lastly, oh wait, oh, that was everything. Well, that was a really short video. Apparently, as I look at my sheets, some of the things from the last video were supposed to be in this video. Um, but that's okay. I mean, it happens. You got to see everything. So what do you think would be good keywords for this cup? Would you include thumbprint cup? Would it be a thumbprint tea cup? Would it be an impression cup? A cat cup? <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments. What was your favorite thing? Will you wear white after Labor Day? Will you, will you wear white clothes anytime? Or are you like me and you stain everything? Let me know in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this really quick little video. And I will see you next week. <laughs> Bye.